Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain9987, and I'm back with my review of G.I. Joe Cobra. Now, um, this of course is the last trade I have a review. I also reviewed G.I. Joe Volume 1 at Origins. G.I. Joe Cobra is actually, um, I picked it up thinking it was an ongoing series, and apparently it's just a self-contained mini with, um, a special at the end. G.I., um, this, I gotta say, read more realistically than any of the books. Um, probably, and I feel bad saying this because Larry Hummer at Origins... I probably enjoyed this the most out of all three of them. Now, um, G.I. Joe Cobra takes kind of views, it's all about Chuckles. Chuckles is sent by Hawk to infiltrate what they think may be Cobra. They don't know. And um, kind of just do reconnaissance, go really deep undercover, establish himself as this diehard mercenary. Um, It's six issues, I think. Yes, yeah, six and a special. The first three issues of this read like a straight-up spy novel. If you handed me this and changed the names ever so slightly, I would have no idea this was G.I. Joe. This reads like a spy novel, and a good one. Now, at the very end, um, well, not the very end, but you get some pretty heavy references. You start seeing things that are really, really good as far as Joe. Um, you see, they actually establish Breaker as the, they want to give him a special job for being such a good agent, and they put him in charge of the bats, the battle assault vital android troopers. I always want to say assault. But, um, it's just a fantastic book. They go seamlessly from a straight-up spy story into seeing the bats and seeing the hiss tanks. And I really felt that's like how Joe needs to be. It needs to read like a straight-up military story and have all these kind of like far-out futuristic things thrown in. And, um, they did not have a problem establishing that. One problem I did, oh, and they have the Crimson Guards in here, and I love their redesign. Um, one thing I will say is, he just kind of like, he randomly starts talking about Cobra. And no one ever says, this place is called Cobra. He just calls it Cobra once after he's seen the logo. Now, I have no idea where this is in, re you know, in compared to G.I. Joe or G.I. Joe Origins. Um, I do not know where this fits in, in the timeline. It is the latest release trade. So I don't know an issue, and the current issues, if they've discovered what Cobra is, but... He goes in not knowing, and then all of a sudden he does. So I don't see how he knows, and the rest of them don't. Um, there aren't many other Joes in here besides Hawk, and um, Scarlet gets a very brief cameo, and Jinx is in here. But overall, this red easily was one of my favorites. Um, Self-contained, and you get a special focusing on Tomax and Zaymon. They try to throw in a twist, but if you're a fan of G.I. Joe at all, you'll see it coming a mile away, because it's... They're just trying to screw you over with the Crimson Twins, and anybody knows who the Crimson Twins are. Um, but, like I said, out of Origins and G.I. Joe, I enjoyed reading this one the most. Um, I've never been a huge Chuckles fan, and this actually made me really like him. So, this is Joe Train 997. G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. <laughs> Rise of Cobra. G.I. Joe Cobra is a fantastic book. Self-contained. I don't know if they're going to write a sequel, because it does kind of leave room for it, or... He may just come back in in the main G.I. Joe book, but I hope he does because they really made me like this guy. And this is J Train 997 saying a $20 price tag is well worth what you get from this. And I'll see you soon, YouTube.